Hello, welcome to another Life in Japan video here on the Retrocord channel. Today we're on our way to Yodabashi Kamara in the big city of Fukuoka. Why are we going there? Well, I'm going to Fukuoka for some other business, but while I'm there, I may as well check out the store because they've got a pretty good game section and on the top floor, they've got a title land. So as you can see from the size of the building, they've got a lot of stuff inside. I really want to go and take a look around all the electronics with you guys, but um, they have a lot of staff around and they tend to get a bit angry when you shoot video. So um, we're going in through the back entrance here to avoid most of the staff. And first thing I've got to do is figure out where the escalators are. I could get the elevator, I guess, but um, we'll take the escalator because it's more scenic. Ah, there they are. So first stop is the games floor. <coughs> and straight upon entering the games floor you can see we're presented with PlayStation 4 and Switch. They are the dominant machines in Japan. We still got Xbox One present. Not switched on mind you. So here we are in the PlayStation 4 section, We've got games to the right and accessories to the left. Prepaid cards, consoles and all sorts of things. Nice little poster for the, for the newer Final Fantasy 7 remake there. So it comes as no surprise that PlayStation 4 is the dominant machine in Japan with uh, Nintendo Switch coming second and port old Xbox One X coming last. Nice to see they've got the remake of Final Fantasy running there. Hey, Xbox stuff! Hey! Not much of a selection, mind you. That's why I shop on Amazon for my Xbox games. Nice selection of joysticks there, some professional ones and some cheap ones got some gamer headsets as well we even got some PSP Vita games is that Vita? I think it is now that's nice to see isn't it they're even promoting the new mini mega drive good on you Yodabashi camera Okay, into the Nintendo section now. Some Amiibo stuff up there. Never understood the appeal of that. Mega Drive Mini over there again. Yep, they're really pushing that. Some card based arcade games, if you want to call them arcade games. Nice selection of Switch controllers there. Every color you could ever want. And they sure do have a lot of Switch accessories. And finally onto the Switch games. So this video is being filmed at the very end of June 2019, just in case you're wondering and you're watching this video sometime in the future. Everywhere in this store as well they've got the gachi gachi, you know, the little capsule machines, they're everywhere. Okay, so we're going to go up to the arcade now, Ooh, two nice ladies there. But before we go up there, I want to show you this <laughs> really cool looking C-3PO which they have in the model shop. It's really cool. 
Just check this out. No, not that. That's Maze Ninja Z or whatever it's called. There it is. Check that out. Samurai C3PO. <laughs> Class. <laughs> Alright, let's go up to the arcade. Let's go to Title Land. Hey, there it is. And outside they've got that new Sega World Racing game, whatever it's called. And stuck alongside the gambling machines is a very old Mario Kart 2 arcade game developed by Namco. That's why it's good. I'm talking about Namco. Here's another old Namco game. Well, I'd say old, it's not that old, it's just a few years old. This is Dark Escape 3D. Pretty nice cabinet, it's got compressed air to, you know, give you more of an immense uh, feeling. Plus, you get to wear these lovely 3D glasses. Putting them on the GoPro certainly doesn't make it in 3D. Not that I'd expect it to. Oh, that's what it's called, Sega World Drivers Championship. Quite nice, but they seem to show you more video than actual game graphics. Well, are they the game graphics? I doubt it. Some girly card game there, no idea what that is. And more gacha gacha machines. Now these things have all sorts of uh, different merchandise in them, from complete nonsense to fake hi-fi equipment, yeah, little mini ones, and even game related stuff, such as Splatoon 2 right there. And if you're hungry, grab yourself an ice cream. Okay, so first section of the real games corner. We can see we've got a couple of classics. Psychic Force 2019, I think it is, isn't it? Got some good old Blast City cabinets. Not many, but Astral City cabinets as well. Just check out these aliens on top of here. You know they'd be stolen if this was the West. And of course, we've got Alien vs Predator from Capcom playing on the machine. Sadly, no Virtual Fighter or Dead of Alive in this arcade, but they do have Tekken 7. Here's a recent Dragon Ball arcade game. No idea what it's called. Not into Dragon Ball, but I'm sure fans of the series will know what this is. Check out the cool models as well, stuck on top of the machine. the Nessia car live systems here basically these are systems which have a lot of games on demand think of it as a, a Netflix but arcade version and usually dotted around these machines you can find this little guidebook here telling you the moves or controls of various games which are on the systems again you just know in the West this will have to be tied down or somebody would take it home I'm actually visiting this arcade around about 10 a.m. in the morning and the main reason I did that is because it would be empty, not many people there, which makes filming a lot easier and less staff about to tell me to stop filming. Gunslinger Stratos here, no idea how to play this. You do get these pretty nifty guns. I guess you just sort of shoot things on screen, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure how, it, how this one plays. Last of the 
initial D games. And check out this. This is some really weird music game. There's quite a few games like this now in Japan. They seem to be like phone games, really, but uh, stuck in arcade cabinets. There's another one over here. Reflective Beat, is that? Is that what it said? Konami make a lot of these games, so part of the Beat Mania series. Did not make this one, though? I think this one's actually made by Sega. Got a bit of a strange control system. You uh, move a joystick to control the uh, cursor at the bottom of the screen, a bit like uh, Arkanoid. Then hit one of the uh, girly faced buttons. This is a quite uh, interesting machine. It has a um, kind of like a piano looking keyboard. You can see it there, all little pink. And uh, they're touch sensitive uh, pads. Uh, you touch those to uh, activate the on screen commands. See, there are loads of music games, classic popping music there. And yes, even Dance Dance Revolution is still a thing. Not sure it's called Dance Dance Revolution anymore. What's that say on the floor? That Dancing Form Stardom? Is that what it's called? Anyway, I really do like the uh, floor that you dance on, the way it's lit up with LEDs that interact with every move you make. It's pretty cool. And here's a classic one, this is Jub Beat or whatever the hell it was called. <laughs> Jub At? I have no idea. <laughs> a bit old that one, it's a couple of years old that game. Now with this being a Japanese uh, game center, it's full of UFO catchers. And they have some pretty nice stuff in them as you can see there from that model. They are rigged, you know, just like the western ones. Chances of actually getting something out of them are pretty slim, unless you're very lucky. Although my son seems to be able to win on these things. He's got the skill for it, I guess. Anime or game related models seem to be the most popular type of things you can find in these machines, along with, you know, cuddly toys of game characters. Kirby's there. See, the fact that they've only got one out for you to grab just shows that they don't have much confidence in anyone actually, you know, getting these things. That's how difficult it is to win. I'm sure some Pokemon fans would like to, you know, try their hand at these. Oh, the break there. Getting on a little bit. I just saw Toy Story 4 there playing on the monitor. Did you see that? Oh, the Joker. No idea how to play that. Some card game. But, look what I've spotted. The new Denture, there go. Well, it's not new anymore, but, you know, the most recent one. Let's check out that funky tune. <laughs> One of the few Taito games in Taito Land. Okay, Fate of Grand Order, the arcade version there. Never played it. And here we got another cool Gundam 101 fighting game. From Capcom, of course.
card based game there. There's loads of these card based arcade games in Japan now. It's sad, but you know, it's also nice to see some, you know, something different. Not my thing though. Okay, and there you have it. That was the Taito Land Arcade in Fukuoka City, in Hakata, Fukuoka City, on the fourth floor of Yoribashi Kamara. Some nice little sweet machines over there, so we can win lots of sweets over to your right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you sometime soon with another Life in Japan video.